This isn't going to be your typical Stark Raving Sports video. I plan on being a bit more serious than usual, but of course I'll try and mix some cringy jokes in there as well to fit our normal format. This video wasn't a thing until late last night. I asked Mike for his permission to delay his video to make this today, as I felt I would have regretted not doing it. I'm not sure how many of you directed your attention to Flushing Queens last night, but Mets captain David Wright played his last game ever in front of a sold out crowd and millions with their eyes glued to their picture boxes at home. This was something to the likes never seen before in professional sports, and had even more of a shock factor than the Browns winning their first game in two years. After missing two years due to countless surgeries, all stemming from a back fracture in 2011, spinal stenosis, and a plethora of other health-related adversities, the Mets' fourth captain in franchise history displayed a type of perseverance only displayed by a select few individuals. Not in recent memory can I recall such a story in sports where an athlete who had missed several years due to injury worked his butt off to come back for one final game. It makes it that much better that he truly is an incredible person. You'll have a harder time finding a negative thing said about David Wright than you will forcing Le'Veon Bell to play a football game this year. David is the franchise leader in nearly every important offensive category. Not only was he a fantastic ball player, defensively and offensively, but he always took care of those around him. Whether it was picking up his teammates when they were down, consistently being a true leader, or even stuff off the field like volunteering his time for those in need, David means the world to the state because of those things, and not just for how far he can hit a baseball. He means the world to me. What a moment it was last night, as tears were shed by the broadcasting booth, by the fans, by myself, and of course by David himself. And it truly was a sight to see. And I don't mean some teary-eyed crying, I, I mean some Lost Series finale crying shit. To be completely honest, I'm not sure if we'll ever get a moment quite like this again. It's a shame the career of such a fantastic talent had to be cut short due to injury. He probably would have gone to the Hall of Fame had he stayed healthy, but still, there aren't many that can come to that realization and work their tails off to make it back for one final farewell after years of rehabbing to make it to that point. I would turn on the game just to see him play, regardless of his team's success, and if you didn't see last night's recap, please take the time to go to the description after this video and check out some of the clips, it truly was incredible. I hope sometime down the line the Mets decide to hire him as their manager, as keeping his presence around this organization would be so beneficial to everyone around him. Thank you David, you inspired me as a kid, and still today, to be better not only in baseball, but in life. What an inspiration, what an athlete, what a person. From a New Yorker, a huge baseball fan, a Mets loyalist, and a David Wright supporter on and off the field, thank you David. Well, David Wright preparing for what has got to be a nervous moment for him his first at bat since April the 14th he hits one to deep left field that is gone David Wright brings himself back into the lineup with thunder Broken bat and oh, oh David Wright! Oh. What a play! Oh. Are know. you kidding? I like that may be the Mitchell. best I've ever seen. That's a magnificent play by David Wright. Wow! Oh, what a God. play by David Wright! <laughs> Do it again! Show it again! Stay hot! Whoa! Wow. Two to the right. Into the air to center field. Damon going back. Warning track! It's over his head and the Mets win it! David Wright 